What's up everyone? So today in this video, me and my friends wanted to show what's possible and how to make a DIY rail. I'm pretty sure there's other ways, but I, we thought it would be creative to use trucks as the stands for a flat bar. And it's pretty incredible how uh, <laughs> you can do something out of nothing. Literally just found a rusted rail in the back of my yard. And then uh, we were like, all right, let's 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 figure this out. And then just four trucks, and these are trucks that weren't really good anymore. That means they were, um, I don't have a rethreader to rethread the, the truck. I didn't, we, it was just bad. There. You add it in there, and then we're gonna bolt it down right there. If it makes sense, look, you have the trucks holding the rail like that. We got another one. These trucks were bad. They're basically done. So what we, you can see that we take out the kingpin out of the trucks and then we added the actual where your wheel would go. We put that where the kingpin would go, bolt it under, and then uh, we would attach that truck in the rail, which is really neat. Like. This is cool. Uh, that means you have your four legs and it's pretty sturdy. You probably would need some power tools and that's just to make the holes inside of the rail. Look at that. Like, it is really jank. I'm just saying this is what's possible. And then if you have a really bad rail like we did, because the pole I chose was like rusted and old, uh, we just kind of got the spray and wiped it down a little bit and then we spray painted over it. The spray paint made it way easier to grind and I think a lot of people that skate curbs like you know slappies uh, they could vouch for that too like you that's why you sl slap me on curbs like uh, slappy 50 50 on a red curb and whatnot so uh, by painting the rail spray painting the rail it made it easier to grind I didn't need no wax and yeah this was a fun project it was a rusted rail we spray painted it black and right now I did not use no wax and I just, I coasted through it like just smoothly. At the end of this whole process, I was skating and doing tricks that I didn't even know that we're gonna be able to withstand that little thing because it's not that high. Uh, it's like, what, um, probably a few inches. So it was pretty cool to make something like this happen. Um, pretty much uh, no price to this. Just like I said, you probably need uh, tools. And one thing we did do is to create the sturdiness of this flat bar was we welded the inside of the two trucks. So let's say this is where the two trucks go in. So when we put the two trucks inside of the, the rail, we welded the inside of the bolts and the rail because they're both metal we, to create it to not move. We, we tried originally to put cement, but the cement, uh, it didn't work out. It just kind of, the rails were still moving. So this was fun project. It's possible, the steps, just get your trucks into the position for, for it to be the stands, create the holes for the, the flat bar, and then either weld it or screw it in there, and then from there, just skate it. So, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and sign out until next time.